Today I will introduce the chain creation for entities. So what does it mean to use the chain creation for entities? After an NPC has finished its event and disappeared. It is possible to recreate this entity if the appearing condition is correct. We will use this for our quantum effects. A quick reminder. A quantum effect is a bunch of quantum particles and creates a visual effect. At first, let us open the entity management. Let us choose our Megiddo quantum effect. Here we see the entity will auto start, which means if an event was assigned to this entity it will start immediately after the entity will appear. No player interaction will be necessary to trigger the event. Let's check out the assigned event. An event called Megiddo 3S is assigned to this entity. Megiddo is the name of our quantum effect and the S stands for seconds. As you can see the first event command will call the effect which was created within the quantum director. The second event command will set the certain boolean variable quantum Megiddo back to false. The second step is important. The boolean variable quantum Megiddo is the appearing condition for this entity. If it would stay on the true value the event would repeat endlessly. So we turn it to false within the last event call. After setting the boolean variable back to true. The event will start automatically again. The last thing we have to do is to activate the chain creation. If we don't do this, the entity will just disappear after the event. In the end, this means we can use this entity multiple times within our game, and call the quantum effect whenever we want to. There is no need for creating a dozen entities for an effect we want to reuse. This is called Object Oriented Game Development. A small in-game preview will show you the result. The same quantum effect will be used twice there. Thank you.